and I wanted to visit him. What the hell was I thinking? I barely talk to him and I'm already not feeling well. It's like he's carrying illness. I can't stop thinking about it though. Is it really okay to leave the game alone? I mean, while I'm doing nothing about it, someone else is probably playing it. And what if Fukuhiko had that document or those papers in that folder? Like, what was that about? I mean, is that what you get when you beat the game or something? I don't know. There's something else I need to do. Play the damn game. Can I play the game? Is it, will it give me the option to play said game? You know what? I'm going to go to the island and see. Ugh, I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go to the park. I don't want to, but curiosity, you know. Let's play the game. Should I or shouldn't I play the game? I should... What? What? Oh, is it not going to give me the option to play the game? Why do I want to play these games anyway? They're awful. Um, where's my friends? Um... Well, there's a lot of people here, but not my friend. Pharmacy? Of course, pharmacy. Uh, I should get some presents. I'll do that next time. I'm already here. Guess what I brought for you? Some Vicodin! You like medicine, right? Alright. What does it mean that a game is the motive? They say violent games can influence you, but that's not true, right? That's a little true, I suppose, in some small way. Yeah, let's invite her. I want to look at something that will calm me down. I feel tired for lots of reasons. See the ocean. Oh, we went to the ranch and watched the animals help us feel a little more peaceful. Okay. Looks like Mikan and I grew a little closer. I don't have a present. I'm sorry, I feel bad now. Uh, um, are you gonna talk to me again today? Oh. Yeah. She must be slowly opening up to me if she's actually asking me that. Regardless, I still feel nervous about trying to think of something to talk to her about. I mean... I'm sorry. I lost control of myself and said whatever I wanted. No, it's fine. Asking someone if they want to talk is totally normal. But you were making a face like there's nothing to talk to her about. God, oh, man, she's pretty perceptive. She the subject probably won't work on her. Just as I thought, I'm a nuisance. No, it's true. I was worrying about what to talk to you about, but I wasn't bothered by that or anything. Besides, if I thought you were a nuisance, I never would have talked to you from the start. <laughs> well. um, no one has said that to me before. Um, thank you very much. I'm glad. It looks like she finally understands what I was trying to say. <laughs> Can I ask you about something? Sure. Hajime, did you like school? You mean before I had to help speak a cat? Well, let's see. I didn't really like it or hate it. Well, actually, I don't think I liked it all that much. <laughs> I feel the same way. <laughs> this is my first time feeling things like fun. I felt like that for the first time after I met you all. Well, right now, we're not really at school. Even so, we're all working together and focusing on the same goal. For the first time, I learned that it's very fun. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. I'm, I'm glad I came to this island. Because we're in this situation, everyone is finally acknowledging me. And I finally feel useful. Thanks to this irrational, hopeless, dangerous situation? I never thought I'd meet someone who actually thought about our situation like that. Hajime, do you know where you should tar where you should target someone if you want to effectively torture them? Uh, I can't say that I do. What the fuck? Um, if you really want to torture someone, you target their head. Psychological, right? No, wait. If they don't have food, maybe they break down more. It's the head. Do head. Is it the head? I thought it was a euphemism for like brain 
sorry. It's like a really oh shit. Stomach? What? You lied to me! Don't give me choices. It's simple, you can target anywhere really. As long as you avoid fatal areas like the head and stomach. There are areas that aren't fatal but still very painful such as the shoulders and back. You can punch and kick those errors, even put a cigarette out on them. I... I don't want to know why you know all this. Repeatedly, over and over. I really don't want to know why you know all this. But right now, at this very moment, nobody's trying to do that to... Oh, I know why. She knows this because she's been tortured like her whole life. It's pretty sad, really, now that I think about it. Because of that, this place is like heaven to me. Hajime, this is the first time I ever talked about my feelings with someone. Please don't hate me. I, I won't. There's no way I'll hate you. Thank you very much. Aww. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. It's not Mikan's fault. It's definitely for certain. No matter what anyone says, there's no denying it. But as I watched me, I'm sorry, I was thinking like, wait, maybe it really was her fault. Maybe she really did something horrible to these people and that's why they tortured her. But I, I don't know, she's pretty sweet, right? I mean, I don't really think she would do that. Oh, hope fragment. I gotta like cash those in or something, don't I? I gotta do something with those. Okay. Okay, so we're back at the, we're back at the thingy. Right? Right? Right, okay. Um, let's go to the store. We gotta buy presents. Someone said there's a present that you buy and it activates a scene of some sort. Um, I'll have to try that out. If I can get it, I think it's like probably like random if it's like the slot machine stuff. All right, gotta go to the market. All right. Um. Hey, right, what's up? Not that. Wait, what did that say? Would a titan drink this coal? I bet an aberrant could finish drinking before it goes. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Yes, I have, uh, I have coins, right? Oh, it's not random. I forgot. Someone said if I buy this and I go to... What's her face? And, uh, oh wait, what would, what would my girl like? A ghost town. Bojobo dolls. Tissues. Tissues? When you get sick? Right? I don't know. I'm reaching here. I could buy a sword. Mm, buy some water. Our pet might be thirsty. I gotta check on that. Okay, it's enough water. Probably get going. Oh no, that's not what I want to do. Ah! Whoops. I gotta clean up the pet stuff. There we go. Okay, let's give it a gift. Let's give it some food. Here you go, buddy. Here you go. Oh, look at that. Oh, it loves it. Oh, okay. Let's clean some more. Okay. Chibi Mimi. Chibi Mimi. That's its name. It's adorable. Oh my god. Okay, let's find out where our friend is. We have gifts now. Here. Wait, I, I missed. It's probably at the library. I didn't see her at the pharmacy, so she's probably at the library. Of course, I could be completely wrong. She's like it neither, but let's go to the library. That is a big building. That's a lot of books. Um, okay, there's no one here. Well. Okay. Uh, where is she at? Oh, they're at the um, beach house. Wait, what? I said she was here. 
Oh, she's in front of the... Oh, okay. I think... Is that how this... Okay, there you are, friend. What's up? I feel like when I eat something sweet for some reason. Oh, is Ramoon sweet? I don't know. Should I make him to hang out? Yes. Would you like to join me? We need to watch out for calories, though. Okay. Eating desserts. Looks like Mikan and I grew a little closer. Yes! I bought you a box of tissues. That sounds very really lame when you think about it, but... Nope. Where's my tissues? There they are. There you go. For me? Yeah. Thank you very much. It's been a while since anyone gave me something for free. I'm so happy. Thank you, Hajime. It worked! Hmm. Her style seems different than usual. She looks like she's staring out into space. Something wrong. <gasps> Hajime, when did you... I've been talking to you for a while now. Um, really? Uh... I'm so sorry for saying something so rude. You're mad, right? You normally get mad right now, right? No, there's no way I'm gonna get mad about this. Is that normal? Why? Why is anyone pouring water on me or throwing mud at me? <laughs> Does everyone hate me or something? Is that why everyone isn't doing anything to me? You're still talking like that? Come on. It's not like that. Everyone isn't doing anything to you because they don't hate you. But doesn't that mean that they don't actually don't care whether I exist or not? <laughs> Nobody cares about me. Maybe that's maybe what Mikan scares Mikan the most isn't violence or being hated. It's when nobody's interested in her at all. Huh. I see. So that's why Mikan has been trying to avoid that no matter what. I can't believe I finally realized that. What's wrong with me? Hey, Mikan, of course everyone cares about you. Because you're uniquely you. Stop looking at people's faces all the time and try looking at yourself more. Take a step back and pay more attention to your surroundings and to yourself. Because you're just like everyone else. You're... You're a friend. My friend. Friend. Me and everyone else? I is that even possible? That's what I believe. You don't believe me? Yes! No, of course I do. Thank you very much. I want to believe in you. Because you are the person who has forgiven me. Aww. I know it's difficult to change all at once, but I really want her to change little by little. That's what I felt when I looked at Mikan's smile. I can feel a strong bond between Mikan and myself. My social link has raised up a level. If possible, I want to watch over her just a little longer, even after we leave the island. Because it's not Mikan's fault at all. It's not. Oh! Yes! Hello! I was gonna make that joke! I was gonna make that joke a long time ago, but I thought that was picking at the low fruit. It, for those of you who don't know, it's, uh, if you ever watch Animaniacs, it's what the Animaniacs always did whenever the hot nurse would walk by. They'd say, hello, nurse. But I didn't do that joke because now it was too easy. I unlock silent massage. That's great. So when I'm stressed as fuck during these trials, I'll be okay. I obtain what? Hello? Uh... 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 I think you dropped something. I should probably give this back to her. She's probably going to want it. Alright. Well... That was a productive day. I think I'm done with my friend, so I gotta find a new friend for tomorrow. Sleep time. Let's watch the thingy and then we'll end the video. Oops, it is now. Please reach Melbourne. On any other night, I'd probably just go to sleep. But I can't stop thinking about that game! It's not like I believe what Nagito said. It's not just it's just not a good idea to leave it alone, you know? Everyone else has probably played it by now. They might have even beaten it. They're gonna spoil me on the ending, those jerks. 
Anyone spoils Danganronpa for me, I'm going to be really mad, let me tell you. Really mad. Twilight Syndrome murder case, huh? I should get, give it a, just a little, you know? Maybe it sucks, I don't know. We're gonna play the game, guys! Let's go play the game! Play the game, let's go, let's go, play the game, let's go, hey. Have you already played the game? You probably already played the game, let's go play the game. Play the game! Yeah! Play the game. Alright, let's go play this game. There it is. Here I am! This game turns out to be dangerous, I'll just stop playing it, right? Let's go for it. Let's play the damn game. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Put my hand on the joystick, here we go. Okay. Purely intentional, I like that. That's cute. Instead of coincidental, it's intentional. Can I start? Press start. Doesn't work. Okay. This game has a strange old-fashioned vibe to it. I wonder, is the person who's controlling Monokuma actually pretty old? That doesn't really mean anything, though. I should just try to start it up. If I press the start button, right? Okay, press start. <clears throat> Now then, let's begin Twilight Syndrome Murder Case. Press the start button with your own hands. I'm pressing the start button. Stop doing it. Now it's doing something. Second day? Wait, I'm not ready. Uh, girl A. Ah, it's already late. I'm gonna be late for a meeting. Everyone's waiting. I gotta hurry and go. If I'm late, everyone's gonna hate me. Um, they're waiting classroom. Oh, I can actually play this game. That is awesome. That's not the classroom. There it is. What's up? Man, you're finally here. You're so late. What were you doing? I I'm sorry. If you're angry, I'm sorry. I'm, don't be mad. Oh, God. I just went out with Mikan, okay? I don't need another one. We're not angry. Just hurry up and get over here. Okay. I should go talk to Girl B for now. They only have names. You're Girl B, right? No, you're not Girl B. Um, we're here because you have something important to say, right? What's this about? Obviously, it's about yesterday's incident. Hey, you already saw the newspaper, right? Yeah. Huh? What newspaper? This is a crappy arcade game. God, you're such a sopo girl, eh? It's in today's evening newspaper. This one, here you go. Just read it. Alright. I can't read it if it's upside down. So, hey, throwing at 6 a.m., Janitor from XX Academy came to work and discovered the body of a female high school student in the music room on second floor. Oh my god. The student had been struck forcefully in the head with a blunt object and was already. Wait. No, okay. Wait. No, the first, first game, the music room wasn't on the second floor. It seems like the killer broke a window to escape based on the details of the crime, authorities say. The investigation is ongoing. I believe someone may have snuck into the school to commit the act. A little surprise. I never expected it would make the newspapers. It says someone may have snuck into the school, so they might be thinking that a pervert did it. It is the only lead they have. I mean, her school swimsuit did get stolen, too. That sick, twisted bastard. Sneaking into a school to steal a swimsuit, killing a nearby girl, and escaping out the window. Ah, we're all in danger, too. But is it really okay? We were the first ones to discover the body. We kept it a secret. It would have been the same no matter who found the body first. Don't worry about it. It's not like we have anything to hide, anyway. That's right, all I did was find the body and not report it. It's not really a crime. But still, I know you're a, mas a masochist, but there's no way I'm going to be involved in this. I'm finally a student at this academy. There's no way I'm getting expelled over something like this. Right, isn't that right, girl D? Yeah, I agree, but... What's up? You don't seem so sure. Uh, I'm actually, I actually have something to discuss with you guys. Girl D, I wonder what's going on. What does she want to talk about? Don't care. Let's go. So what's up? To be honest, I ended up taking several photos of her yesterday. Are you talking about her body? I thought we might get questioned by the police, so I thought I should take them just in case. It's gonna make you look suspicious. But where are those photos now? I have them right here. Well, I don't want to look at them. We're definitely gonna get cursed. Cursed? 
Stupid curses aren't even around. You seriously need to throw away those photos. Give them to me. Ah, uh, hey. This is bad. If you rip it up like that, the curse... I just said curses don't exist. It's better to just rip these photos to shreds and throw them into the incinerator. Girl D, if you have any digital copies, you need to erase those too. Okay. Hey, girly, what happened and why do you sound so desperate? N never mind, let's just forget about the whole incident. We have nothing to do with it. We weren't the first ones to discover the body. Okay, the end. Seriously, let's just go home already. Come on, it's getting late. Fourth day? What happened the third day? Nothing happened on the third day, apparently. It was uneventful. Man, it's already late. The hardest part of being in the archery club is changing clothes. Everyone's probably gone back by now. And I guess I'll have to go back on my own. I think this is around the time the incident occurred, too. Totally not gonna get murdered or anything. Jeez, why am I thinking about something so stupid again? That's right. I gotta hurry up and forget about it. I won't let you forget. Huh? I won't let you forget. Who's there? Where are you? I won't let you forget, I won't let you forget, I won't let you forget. Forgive me. Forgive me! Never. Never, 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 never. I will never forgive you. This is a shitty motive. This game sucks. Ah, girl D. Hey, sorry. What happened? Did something happen? This is bad. This is really bad. Uh, her head is split like open like that one time. It's probably the curses. It's the curse. It's all the curses' fault because of the curse. Girl E is. What happened to girl E? Take a look in there, classroom one B. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Oh, a real photo. Like a real person. Game over? Fuck you, game. That fucking sucked. This is the end? Wait, now it's game over for some reason. I don't get it. Even the game structure doesn't make sense. I mean, it started with the second day all of a sudden, and then it jumped to the fourth day. Where were the, why were the first and the third day skipped? What's with this down five message on the game over screen? What the fuck? Down five? Who, who's down by five? What the heck is this? I don't get this at all. How would this be the motive? <laughs> is this what it's like to play a crappy game? <laughs> Boy, is it. It's a waste of time to stay here, so I should go back to my cottage. That game sucked ass, man. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna leave a horrible review on the website. I tried to think about why I felt so strange I fell asleep without realizing. Hey, um... Life isn't just about moving forward. When confronted by an important question, it's good to stop moving and take your time thinking about it. For example, my stomach hasn't felt well all morning, so I ran to the restroom as soon as I got off the train. But right when I was about to enter, an important question stood before me. Life was like that every now and then. Suddenly an important question gets in your way. The important question that stood before me was the gentleman's sign on the restroom door. As I resisted the overwhelming urge to poop, I thought about it desperately. Am I really a gentleman? Do I have class? Am I honest? Am I faithful? Now why am I even hesitating? Of course I'm a gentleman. A regular person wouldn't last five minutes resisting the urge to poop, but a gentleman most certainly would. Filled with pride, I ran into the restroom meant for gentlemen, and what awaited me was another important question. The important question that stood before me was Western style and Japanese style signs on the door. Hmm. I was definitely born in Japan, but haven't I forgotten what makes clean, beautiful Japan so good? Do I have enough confidence in myself to take a Japanese style poop? As you can see, there are always important questions waiting for you. Brought to you by Monokuma! So does that mean the mastermind's a male? Interesting. Of course, that could be a fabrication. Maybe it's a woman. I don't know. Most likely a man, though. So at least we kind of narrowed it down a little bit, right? Right. We did. Okay. Well, that's all for Danganronpa 2. I will see you all next time 
on more Danganronpa 2. So I will see you then. Take it easy.